Hi everyone, Diane here, and I have a taste test of two items. Uh, this Erewhon expensive salad, uh, I made a community post and I talked about it in my last video. Erewhon is the most expensive supermarket chain, grocery store chain in Los Angeles. I don't know about Los Angeles County, I think so. Um, it's exclusive. It's like the supermarket of the stars. It's more expensive than Whole Foods. It's, there's less of them than Whole Foods. There's actually three Whole Foods in Sherman Oaks. So there's only one of these in Studio City that's the closest to me. There's none in Sherman Oaks. So maybe these will come to your area soon. They're really expensive. They have hot food. This is a prepared salad, which I will talk about. And then this is great value. I've been eating a lot of applesauce because I, I like apples, but I'm sick of them. So, and I know they're really healthy. So this is unsweetened applesauce. And these are aimed at kids. They've got kind of cutesy pictures on them. I think it's aimed at, it was a little monkey with, and dolphins with smiley faces. But um, I get the kids ones. I've never tried the Great Value brand, but I've tried other brands. This is the Walmart store brand. So this has, um, did I bring my reading glasses? No. <laughs> Great. Okay. This has palm peach, bursting berry, and strawberry banana rama. Okay, folks, I'm going to go get my reading glasses. I'll be right back. Here, I'll, um, I'll put this up to entertain you guys. I'll put something here. This is, I'm going to show you this. I, I have been drinking this a long time, and I am drinking it now. This is a full bottle of it, and I'll tell you about that too. Be right back. Let me get my reading glasses. Thank you, folks. Thank you so much for waiting. Okay. These are my expensive Ray-Ban ones. I have, like, so many pairs now. These actually reflect the light with the... Uh, let me turn down the ring light, maybe. There. Okay, just while I keep the glasses on, I'll turn down the ring light. So this is the flavors are Palm Peach, Bursting Berry, and Strawberry Bananarama. They do kind of have kids packaging, as you can see. I know my nails are dirty. This nail's really dirty, sorry. <laughs> And um, the calories are low, 70 a pouch, 60 a pouch, 60 a pouch for the three flavors. And I do have some plain apple ones. Like I have an assorted pack aimed at kids. That's a brand name that I like. It has two fruit flavors besides apple, two added to applesauce flavors that I like. But then it's got more plain apple than the other two flavored ones. So I don't like the plain apple anymore. So that's why I got this too, because it doesn't have plain apple. So I'm going to test one of these. And then I'm going to talk about this book that I ordered used from Amazon. I think it said like new or very good condition. It's amazing. This is from the 90s. I got mine before Windows came out before Windows 3.1 came out. This is actually, I read about it. This is the first Dummies book. And I've been reading Dummies books on everything for my whole life since this book came out. I even had like Windows 95 for Dummies. I had chatting online for Dummies or some kind of exploring the internet when it was brand new. I mean, when Windows, it was something, an AOL Dummies. I had Dummies for AOL. I had everything. Dummies. So... Let me get a drink. This is really good. It's, let me turn up my um, light again, my ring light. I do like it with more light. Let's see. Check it out, guys. I have to put my glasses on to really see. Yeah, I like that. That's really bright. I like it. Okay, V8 Splash Diet Berry Blend. This I can only find on Amazon here. In, Los in my San Fernando Valley section of Los Angeles, both my Ralph's, which is like Kroger's, and my Pavilions and Vons, which are like Safeways, don't carry this flavor anymore. Sometimes they, they do carry the orange one that's mango something that I do buy. These are really low in calories. It's five, I think it's five mm -hmm. calories. Great for diabetics or people that have to watch it, like pre-diabetics like me. So, um... 
it's five calories for eight ounces. It's zero, one gram of carbs says zero percent, less than one gram of sugar, zero percent included added sugar. It's really good, and I don't really like, um, I don't really, I don't like too much, um, carbonated like diet sodas. I don't like the carbonation too much. I prefer like a diet fruit punch or, you know, I know they're more expensive. Diet sodas are really cheap. So let's get on with the salad. So check it out. It's got rice on the bottom, some kind of really fat rice. I hope this lasts because there's no way I'm going to be able to eat it. It has carrots. There's no way I'm going to be able to finish this tonight has tons of tofu. I did let it cool a little. I mean, I let it warm up because it was to more to like a room temperature. It's still cold, but it was in my refrigerator overnight. The expiration, you have to eat it by tonight. So, um, Erewhon is really fancy. There's This one was in Studio City where the old Sportsman's Lodge Hotel is, which is gonna be condemned someday, I guess, but it still the, looked like the building was still there. The parking lot was right there. Like I parked where the Sportsman's Lodge parking lot was nearby. It was still open. The parking lot was still being used because there's a huge, well, not huge, but really upscale shopping center where I got my hair at the hair color bar. I got my hair done at, um, when did I go? Monday, a couple days ago, yesterday. Yeah, when did I go? Today's Tuesday. Yeah, I went yesterday. So uh, the Erewhon was right next door. And it's a really cool place. I, I left a community post. They only do um, colors, highlights. They'll completely change your color. They'll do highlights. They do some kind of conditioning treatment and roots. I just got roots, it's $80. And I got a 20% discount for my first time. I did tip her really good. And they've got like, like I wear a, a light medium brown. She was gonna mix two colors to get my color, but They've got so many colors there, it's amazing. Even like my stylist who, my former stylist who would mix my colors with combining like three of his own colors that he buys, like at uh, beauty supply stores or whatever. Uh, this, so many colors, is fantastic. So just look up Color Bar. I'll get the name of it if any of you want it, but I think, I think they're national um, or at least California. So Color Bar, that's all they do, no cuts, no cuts. And they serve fancy tea. I took a community post picture. And they serve, um, what do you call it? Um, water. And they have drinking fountains in there even. And a nice bathroom. And um, yeah, it wasn't busy because of the heavy rain. There was only me and one other customer in there getting the roots done. I don't know what she was getting done. But yeah, it's a really cool place. And it's all on credit card. You can request the colorist you want, but you're not guaranteed. But I would take her again. She was fantastic. And she's the one that matched my color. It's in the computer. I think I'm a seven of a medium, of a light brown or a medium brown or combination. But it really, if you can see the top, it really matches. And my roots down below are really matched very well. So it does have some kind of an app deal on here. There's a coupon. I know I didn't read the ingredients. Maybe you guys want to know some of them. There are bean sprouts, which I love. There's cucumber slices, mung bean, carrot, orga everything's organic. Avocado oil, rice vinegar, organic. I did check and it is vegan, I asked. Oh no, it's not vegan, it has honey, okay. Okay, I eat honey, I'm a vegetarian, but I do eat honey. I think some vegans do eat honey, but I'm a vegetarian, so I eat eggs and dairy too, which is even probably worse than eating honey because honey is like a natural byproduct, you know, of the bee. Well, just like eggs, I don't feel bad eating eggs, especially if you have a chicken on, on your property laying eggs, if you have chickens, because they're gonna lay eggs as long as they've got a nice place to run around and have fun and People, you know, pet them, and chickens are really friendly if you have them as pets, so. And you can eat the chick the eggs, so. Okay, and this dressing, I did read the ingredients. It's, hopefully it's good. I might not use all of it, because I'm gonna save some of this. Let me hold it up. I'm not gonna be able to finish this tonight. I ate kind of a big lunch. 
And I've got another taste test to do in a couple days of some prepared food I bought somewhere else. And it is vegetarian, it's not vegan. So if you guys like vegetarian food, that means it has egg or dairy products or both or honey. Okay, I'm gonna just put, it, well, there is rice on the bottom and it's it says what kind of rice it is. Oh, here's a bean sprout. I remember in the 70s, like bean sprouts were really popular on like health, like they have pita sandwiches with turkey and bean sprouts. We had sandwiches like that here in LA. Uh, restaurants here, like the Good Earth, I think did that. They'd make like a pita sandwich. There were no wraps, there were pita sandwiches, I think at, at the time, early 70s. And they put bean sprouts and alfalfa sprouts and, um, Chick turkey or chicken. I was not a vegetarian then, of course. I haven't, I've only been a vegetarian for 12 years. So look at the rice. It's really huge rice. Let me taste it. It's in a flavor. It's not as, I think I'd like to like it a little more cooked. Oh, there's a packet of something in here. Oh my gosh. Let's figure out what this is, because I kind of tore up the label. Let's see. They're peanuts. Okay, they might be flavored peanuts. Let me get my uh, handy dandy scissors. I know my hair is a mess. I, I actually didn't wash it today. I let, I, I styled it myself. That's one good thing about this color bar. They provide like flat irons, clean brushes, combs, blow dryers, you, you blow your own hair dry. I think they'll do it for you, but it's fun. There's like, nobody was doing it with me, but there's like five spots with mirrors and all. Styling products, even heat, uh, something to uh, prevent damage, heat, heat, sty heat styling damage to your hair to spray on, which I am gonna buy. This is my flat iron use. Okay, so I've got my napkin. These are really nice napkins, but it got some, I don't know what's on it but they're not the cheapy napkins. And my silverware, so let's put some of this on. What else is in it? Nuts, carrots, are there onions? I gotta get my glasses on to see. There might be like little scallion type green onions. Let me turn this up again. Okay, let's see. Tofu. Now, if this isn't good, I am gonna add salt and pepper to it. I just wanna try it. Look at this piece of tofu. It's like marinated in something. I hope it's good. I'm gonna have that one first. But I did bring a knife because I noticed the slices were kind of big. Here's some cucumber, which here's a little piece. That's nice. And lots of carrots and that rice. I'm not gonna blend it all up. I wanna keep the rice at the bottom. Got to watch my carbs too, you know. I am um, borderline diabetic right now. I'm not overweight, so my doctor is concerned. But I am eating too much sugar, so. I just saw her today and uh, I'm not gonna have my oatmeal with sugar. I'm gonna use Splenda. Like I usually buy the flavored apple cinnamon oatmeal and eat two of them. You know, the instant in the packets. And the, I like the flavored ones, but there is a, um, maple cinnamon one, maple cinnamon one from Great Value Walmart I found online that's sugar-free. She's wanting, and oatmeals are carby enough. She didn't even like that I was eating oatmeal, but she wants me to like do the Morning Star um, sausage or bacon and make like two or three eggs and take one yolk out. So I don't know, I might do that. Or have one yolk and three whites. So I don't like egg whites. She wants me to eat egg whites. No, they have to have at least like two yolks. I can deal with two yolks and three eggs, but I've never tried one yolk and, th and three whites. So have any of you guys tried that and do you like it? So, okay, we're gonna taste, uh, I'm gonna cut this little piece of tofu, the marinated one I just showed you guys in a little bite-sized piece. And I'm gonna grab some of the dress, I'm gonna pour a little dressing on it. And some of the cucumber, I'm, and a little rice. Oh, I dropped it. I dropped it, oh my God. Okay, here's another piece of it. 
Okay, let's try it. Here we go. I'm tasting wasabi or something. No, I'm tasting soy sauce, because it's Thai. If I didn't say it was a Thai tofu salad. I think I showed it, but I don't know if I said that. Um, I picked it out especially because it was vegan or vegetarian. I didn't notice the honey, but some vegetarians don't eat honey, I don't think. I don't know. So, but I do. I actually like, my favorite, but I haven't bought it in a long time, is I ran out of honey. Honey never expires, I read, but I like, uh, like wheat toast, really good wheat bread toast, like 100% whole wheat, with peanut butter and honey drizzled on it. Toast. I like that better than jelly on toast sometimes. Just drizzle, a you know, like the, the bears that you squirt of honey. Oh my gosh. It doesn't need salt, but I will add pepper just because I like a little kick. I'll probably do my grinder pepper. I have shaker, you know, black pepper, but I want a little bit more of a, with salads, I usually like coarser pepper. So I will have that. And okay, let's do a quick applesauce. That's excellent. How, how are we doing on the time? Oh, 1646, okay. So I get this from Walmart, I mean from Amazon, because I can't find it in the stores. And I get the orange one from Amazon too. That The orange one comes in like large, like a six pack of bottles. And this one, you, you can buy up to five at a time. So this is excellent, here's the dressing. I will buy this again. It was, I didn't say, but it was almost $17.50 or about $17.50 plus tax. I'm gonna eat more because I'm hungry, you guys. Mm. The rice is good. I would say that it needs more tofu for protein. The tofu is very firm and marinated. It's very good. Okay, I'm gonna have something on the top of it with the app that you save five dollars, but I don't have the app or something like that. Okay, let's try the variety pack of great value. I don't know what flavor I'll try. I'll see whatever comes out first. There's um, peach, bursting berry, and banana ram. Banana. Let's see if it's banana rama, because that's a band from the '80s that I like. Yeah, Bananarama. Okay, I have the greatest hits actually. The couple, three blonde gals. Maybe one's African American. Maybe I think there's three of them. They're still around. I think two of them might still be performing. I think, I think I follow them on Facebook and I see their posts once in a while. So, all right. So there's that. Let's try it. I need. I do need my scissors. I think. Let's see. Oh no, I don't. These aren't cold. They're probably better cold. So I am gonna try the berry one. Oh, it's strawberry banana rama. That's my favorite kind of margarita when I used to drink is a strawberry banana margarita. This these Mexican restaurants out here called El Torito and Don Ricardo's. El, El Torito still does it, but Don Ricardo's um, doesn't. But I love their strawberry banana margaritas at El Torito. And I went there for a birthday party. A, someone's a friend's 50th birthday party about 10 years ago and um um you could order like a drink it was like included with your party you know and then you brought a nice gift you know but um hold on okay it was included a cocktail a main dish and a dessert okay so i got um, a, a virgin strawberry banana margarita, which I had never tried before and it was fantastic. Just missed the tequila taste. 
and I got, um, everybody else got real margaritas pretty much. That's what everybody got. But usually most people got the plain ones, I think, rather than like the straw. I like strawberry ones too. And even plain banana ones, I think I had. Um, and then I had steak fajitas. It must've been before I was a vegetarian. So it must've been like over 12 years ago. I had steak fajitas, which was one of the most expensive things on the menu. And I had, um, I mean, everybody was ordering like fish and seafood. And I had, um, what else did I have? Oh, deep fried ice cream for dessert. They had flan too, but they have really good, I don't know if you guys have ever had deep fried ice cream, but it's made with like a really, they make it with like a French vanilla ice cream or something. And I don't know what kind of ice cream it is. And then they, most Mexican restaurants here, and then they put like cinnamon and oatmeal. They make the ice cream really cold, I think. And then they put it in the deep fryer really fast. And then I think they freeze it again. And it's like normal ice cream. You can't tell that it was ever dipped in hot oil. It's really good. It has oatmeal like flakes on it. Delicious. Coconut, I think, sometimes. And I don't normally like coconut, but I will eat that. So let's try this. It is aimed at kids. If I didn't show you, it's got animals and stuff. If you can see here, it's got like a monkey that's smiling. Let's try it. I do like it cold better, but I, I forgot to put this box in the fridge. Oh my God. I'm gonna see, I don't think they do, but I want this flavor by itself, the strawberry banana. It reminds me of the margaritas. It reminds me of um, this baby food that my mom used to feed my little sister that I liked. <laughs> it was like a pudding. I think it had pineapple in it too. Strawberry, banana, pineapple or something. It was like a tapioca, but I think they might even still sell it. And it's, um, of course, purify. I mean, it's um, blended really well. No, because it's, you know, but it's delicious. And it's an applesauce too, so. Oh no, I don't know if it is. I think it is, but it's like a tapioca. I can't tell it doesn't have sugar added to it. So if I eat one of these a day instead of like a cookie, it's healthier. It has the fiber. So now I'm gonna show you DOS for dummies that I had, I taught, I kind of was self-taught. Oh, this is in the way. I was self-taught when I went back to school at age 28. The, uh, the internet was just about up and coming and I went to a university, Cal State Northridge, that was way advanced with their like computer labs and they had internet access in the, in the one of the two libraries, the huge one, the Ovia is still there. And um, I mean, I used to go on their high-speed internet when Windows first came out, Windows 3.1 in the library there. High speed, because at home it was just dial up, you know? And it was the, it was like modems that were um, not the 56K, which I think were the late, the last phone modems, but they weren't even 28.8, I think they were 14. I don't remember what modem I have, but it's really slow. So I'd stay at the computer lab at Cal, I mean the library at Cal State Northridge surfing the web for fun instead of doing my homework. <laughs> so I would go there just to enjoy surfing the web for pleasure. I was chatting, I was, you couldn't print, I don't think, from the internet, but I was um, playing games, I was I was very new. And before, when DOS was out, before Windows, I was playing games and chatting using DOS, okay? On a non-Windows computer that was basically, let me see if there's a screenshot of DOS. Basically a black and white screen. Why isn't there a screenshot? Okay, basically the screens of computers look like this, okay? So you had to know commands. And this book had has tons of commands. I didn't even learn all of it. I just got the basics to play games. I chatted on IRC, Internet Relay Chat. And I did that uh, from the computer labs at Cal State Northridge. I figured it out. I also shopped on Amazon before Windows when it was all graphics and all they sold was books. I bought one book, but... I look, I, I browsed and then sooner, once they got on Windows, I don't remember when, but they started adding more things than books, like records, I think they added al al music, music, like CDs and uh, cassette. I don't know about cassettes, but CDs. 
So anyways, that's it. And this book is still available. Look how good condition. It was really cheap on um, Amazon. It was from a private seller. And they, if you ever want any kind of book, like for dieting or anything, they've got dummies books. Just look up, um, I'm sure they've got them on um, Amazon and all the major bookstores, but my dummies books, most of them back in the day in the 90s or 2000s, I would just buy at bookstores because we had a lot of bookstores then in the malls and all that. So, But DOS for Dummies, this I read is the first dummies book is DOS for Dummies. Then it just launched off. It, I think it started as computer related stuff and just branched off. So anyways, um, take care everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye.